Russia to consider making ex-presidents immune from prosecution, RIA. Here's a summary of the article. Moscow, Russian presidents could be made immune from criminal prosecution once they leave office under proposed constitutional reforms, a senior lawmaker said on Tuesday. The proposal, made by a parliamentary working group, comes after President Vladimir Putin last month announced sweeping reforms to the political system that would shift some powers away from the presidency. The proposals by the parliamentary working group assessing Putin's reforms include making former presidents immune from criminal prosecution, said Pavel Krashnikov, the group's co-chair. The president of Russia, having ceased to exercise his powers, has immunity. We have this, he said at a working group meeting, RIA News Agency reported. Lawmakers in the lower and upper houses of parliament are immune to criminal prosecution under Russian law. The working group has already put forward an array of other proposals, including one that would change Putin's job description to supreme ruler from head of state. For the group's proposals to be adopted, they must be approved by the lower house of parliament in two further votes before being voted on by the upper house, reviewed by regional parliaments and then signed by Putin. This post received a score of 16,238, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Putin has really worries about his future, so he decided to rewrite Russian constitution. Russian people walk through really dark times these days. When did Russian people not walk through dark times? Almost all of their history is dark times. True, but I think it's pretty pivotal to their history. The story of Russian history can be summed up as, and then, things got worse. Why is this? Is there something about the weather? Something ingrained in their culture? Its geography plays a big role in that, Russia is too sprawling and for the most of it uninhabited. To keep all these different regions together, crossing different cultural thresholds religious or otherwise, united under one nation, country you need to be heavy-handed, hence the pattern of oppressive leaders throughout its history. Something about not getting involved in a land war in Asia. Only slightly less well-known is this, though, never go up against a Sicilian when death is on the line. H-A-H-A-H-A, ha-ha, H-A-H-A-H-A-H-U-H. Please continue doing the entire movie, thank you. I see Putin is finally wanting to retire. No, he's getting ready for his new role. Someone has been watching The Force Awakens too many times. Alternate title, Putin is going to make himself immune from prosecution, Putin. Whoever replaces him after he retires is going to be Putin's puppet anyway. Putin can never retire in peace, he's made far too many enemies with most of them Russian. Best bet for Russia is to toss him in a ditch and hold choose your oligarch elections. The Russian Federation has been in existence for 29 years and it had three presidents. One of them is already dead. That leaves two. Both of them have been in alliance for years. So I guess the current president strongly believes that he and his loyal sidekick will need protection from the people after they're done serving terms. Exactly. You don't hear this type of law in consideration for ex-presidents of Germany, Ireland, UK governors general etc. Why Russia? Must be because the lawmakers believe one of the living two has committed acts that violate the law. Gotta admire South Korea for jailing two former presidents meanwhile here Sarkozy, Blair, Bush etc. are all immune. Well, in our case it's more political revenge than a sign of actual justice. Every single president since 1988, when SK became a democracy, was investigated for corruption by the next president or the one after. Hopefully Moon breaks that cycle. Honestly that doesn't sound like the worst policy I've ever heard. It depends on how bullshit the investigations are or not. If they're done in a transparent and unbiased manner, then that's great, but political revenge investigations rarely follow such a format. I will say, though, that despite how bullshit this administration is in basically everything it does, they haven't been able to attack political enemies through the justice system. A president who campaigned on lock her up didn't even open an investigation. I'm not sure if that's because the system works or if this administration is just incompetent, though. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.